tea. But I don't have any tea. Please share our videos. Get on in here. Okay, folks, get on in here. You missed this morning. But we did uh, plan and play day this morning. And it's. It, I just sent out the video for it to everybody. It, check your email because it's, it's there. My hair is not as much fun this afternoon, y'all. <laughs> anyway, folks, I need prayers for my baby sister. And Jay, her husband. Jay still got vertigo real bad. And then yesterday, on top of all the sickness that they have had since last October, Dana had breast cancer. Then she messed her shoulder up and COVID happened and she couldn't get it fixed until... May, and it's just been awful. Well, Jay can't do hardly anything. He can't even drive. And my sister's driving one-handed. I'm tired of them being attacked. I'm tired of it. So, devil, be gone. Leave my family alone. In Jesus' name, get, get behind me, Satan. Whew. Sometimes you just have to get mad, y'all. You have to get mad. Well, yesterday, they get a call from a real estate agent that they know and they love. And the owner of the house, which is a pastor, has moved away. Wants to put his house on the market. It is, dare I say, a perfect time to put the house on the market because houses are selling in three days. But now we can't find a place for them to rent. So they're going to be homeless if we can't do something. So if you know anything in Farmville, North Carolina, be sure and send me an email or contact Dana and Jay if you know them because they have the flower shop there in town, the flower basket. It's just awful. And it's just, you know, it wasn't even a month ago my brother-in-law Phil had a stroke. And it's, it's rough. And I'm a fixer. And I, my, hello, my name is Marla. And I'm a perfectionist. And I try to fix everything. I can't fix it, though. All I can do is give it to Jesus. That's all I can do. I've tried. <clears throat> I, I, I have given it to Jesus. But sometimes we have to. We have to help things along and ask for help from friends and family. So I know y'all are out there. I know. Yeah. 
He is a fixer. And you know, all these kids that have gone off to college, I thank God Ethan's not off at college this year. They've been so cooped up, these babies have, that they just can't wait to be with other people their age. And I can't blame them, but then college gets shut down. Robert's alma mater, Chapel Hill, University of North Carolina, have has five clusters, five clusters in the dorms. And it comes from kids doing what kids do. So y'all, we gotta stay safe. We gotta teach our children that I just <clears throat> anyway, I gotta breathe and be calm. There's <laughs> Jake's on here. He can't hardly even stand up. And Ben has to have surgery September the 3rd. And I can't be there, so I started crying on Ben today. And he said, Aunt Marla, don't cry. No, you can't come. So we're trying to come up with somebody to stay with him. He's, and his, his girlfriend's mother passed away a couple of weeks ago. And he said, Mama, he said, Aunt Marla, I can't deal with death. He said, I hadn't even had a funeral for my own mama yet. And we haven't. Because why do you want to have a funeral for somebody who's died who's got stage four cancer? So I said, I can't have a funeral for my sister until you're well. He said, I know, I know, I know. So everybody, we're being attacked on all sides. I thank God Robert's healthy and my puppy's healthy and Leanne and Mark are healthy. Patty's healthy. Sue, Susan's healthy. So, folks, sometimes you just have to lay your heart out there. Just lift us all up. All of us. We've all suffered through some horrible things this spring. Horrible things. My family's not immune. Yours is not immune. <clears throat> Stuff happens. We deal with it. We move on. We don't stay in and on our pity pot. We can't. We have to get up and we have to keep going because our families need us. I mean, I told Ben today, I said, I can't come and be with you. I can't do it. As much as I want to, I can't. Because there's so many people depending on what we do. So, folks... Keep us in your prayers. Keep all the fly babies in your prayers. We've got fly babies with COVID. As much as we hate to think about that, they've got it. 
So take your supplements. Take care of yourself. If you don't take care of you, who will? Oh, my. So I'm going to get off of here, and I'm going to be strong. I'm going to give it to God. I'm going to spend... I'm going to spend... Y'all, my family won't let me go to Knoxville. Knoxville's blowing up with COVID. My family will not let me go. Justin and, and Robert, I spent three months there getting Ben where he was able to take care of himself, and now he is. Bubble bath sounds good, Liz. <laughs> I think it's Liz. She thinks bubble baths fix everything. And they do. And they do. And that's where I like to do my major, major prayers is in a bubble bath. So I think that's a real good prescription. So everybody, sometimes you just have to get mad. And put it out there for the world. The devil's not going to win here. He is not going to win. We are stronger. We are stronger. So, we're going to do this with the help of the good Lord. God, <laughs> take me away. I love you all. Keep in mind, we put all the mops on sale. The head by itself, the head and handle by itself, uh, the head and handle and an extra mop cloth, an extra one of these mop cloths, they're all on sale. So there's a price for you for the mop. And it's going to be ending Labor Day weekend. I love you all. I'm going to look up these scriptures, y'all. Thank you for letting me vent. We can do this. Bye.